Good Monday morning. It. Good Monday morning. We've decided to do a slightly different video today because we want to start doing kind of more informative videos to give you an insight and behind the scenes. So we thought we'd start by sharing how we go about making our YouTube videos on my channel, the Madeline Olivia channel. So how we go about planning our recipe videos or whatever video I'm doing that week, because if you didn't know, we work together as partners. Here he is. <laughs> And um, when we moved, we decided to, Alex decided to work with me and we have kind of like a routine down now. We have like a system that we follow. So we wanted to share it with you and it's Monday, so it's a new week. And every single Monday we sit down and we plan the week ahead, don't we? So we sit at this little desk, we've got our notepads, our breakfast, mm -hmm. we've both started our day and we basically sit down, number one, the first thing that we do is we sit down, we talk about our to-do lists, what we're up to this week, and primarily we discuss the videos we're making and what days we're gonna upload them, etc. So this week I'm doing two videos. I'm doing a um, recipe video on snacks and I'm also doing a waste like how to reduce your waste video so i thought i'd take you along we take you along on our sorry if i'm really shaky this camera is really heavy and i'm getting used to it culinary adventure yeah so we're doing what we're we doing this this video on we're going to share snacks. The, the snack video yeah so that's step one we sit down we plan the video and we come up with ideas together and then once we've come up with the ideas we move on to step two So the next thing is primarily my job. We've come up with the recipes. So we're doing popcorn, date balls, and like pitter pocket things. And there was one other thing, wasn't there? What was it? I wrote it down, I've forgotten. <laughs> but um, yeah, we come up with those ideas. And I generally speaking know what's in the recipes and um, usually I kind of know what's gonna go in them. But I will sit down now and actually write the recipes out. I very rarely test my recipes just because I've been cooking for a lot of like a lot a long time and I generally know what works so occasionally it doesn't work we've had like one major disaster since I've started doing more recipe videos but generally speaking their recipes I know will work and um, I can kind of come up with them really fast some people say how do you come up with them but I've just been cooking for a long long time and I've really honed in on vegan recipes and what works so I'm going to sit down and do that now and then that means I will have a shopping list because the next thing that we're gonna do is go shopping for all the ingredients. Oh, I didn't know you filmed me. Where are we going now? I thought we'd go for a drive. <laughs> but first, Tesco. I have the shopping list on my phone and Ooh. And now we are going to go to Tesco. We normally walk, but um, raining. it's raining, so we're getting... This is the future. We're driving. We're and we um, every time now, aren't we? Mustn't forget reusable bags. And we're going to go pick up everything in our shop. We also usually go to our local shop first, but... It's shut. It's shut, and we're disorganised this week, so we're doing the best we can. What are you doing? I thought it was all wet. My favourite vegetable of them all. Broccoli. <laughs> what else do we need? Um, I'm not really sure. I've not been looking at my list. Rocket. Rocket and lettuce. Go get me some bananas, monkey boy. I usually like to prepare everything beforehand. So we've got five recipes to do today. 
So I get each recipe out at a time because it's easier because our kitchen is minute. Do you want to give a pan of our kitchen how small it is? Like literally it's a corridor, like look. That's it, that's all there is. This is it, this is the kitchen and it's also really dark today. <laughs> Um, I feel like it's always dark when we prepare these videos. I know, that's so annoying. Probably I would usually, if I had a bigger kitchen, I'd get all the stuff out that I need for that day, but I just get each ingredient, each recipe, um, the ingredients for each recipe out. This first thing is we're doing pita pizzas, mm. and it's, as I said, it's a snack video, so there's not going to be loads of ingredients, so it's going to be quite an easy video to film. And that's about it for preparation, and I also need to go get my phone, Oh no, my laptop, because it has the recipes listed out on my laptop, so I'll just go get that. So I will plop this down here. Now all we have to do is make the recipes, which is the next step, and film it. So we're going to be testing out our brand new camera. This is our first time filming a recipe video with this camera, so I'm really excited. Are you excited? Yeah, I feel like a proper film man. Because it's got the microphone. You are a proper film man. <laughs> yes. What step is this? I don't know, five or six? <laughs> like boom boom <laughs> normally it would be a little bit more chaotic because I'd be actually cooking something yeah. but this is snack so it's really like super easy today step six get the food porn shots yes <laughs> Step seven is to eat. Oh my god, yeah, literally. This step is just to sit and eat all the food. This is all mine, yeah? Step eight. We're not at step eight yet. There we are. What? Step eight is repeat. Everything. Oh, yeah, repeat. Cook, Second recipe. film, photograph, Second eat. recipe to now. Blech. All right, and then your mug cake is ready. Why has that happened? What the? What step is this step? Step eight point five. Go to the shops because you got baking soda instead of baking powder. I always forget something, don't I? And you yeah. always end up running to the <sighs> shops because you're so good. I'm gonna film the intro now. Oh, that's another step. I have to film my oh, intro. Yeah. That's the preparation. Oh, yeah. is, that, is that after you? Don't we do that after? You know, I normally do it in between or like Maybe afterwards. A spare moment. So now I'm going to set up my camera and film my intro and outro bits. And yeah, whilst Alex is at the shop. Thanks for going to the shop, babe. I never right. call you babe, I don't know why I said that. I was trying to be weird. That's all right, babe. So here is my setup on the camera. You'd think that everything is beautiful and perfect in this area, but dun dun dun. There's all this chaos over here, but yeah, I'm gonna, oh, it's recording already, but I'm gonna sit here, hello, and um, film my little intro. So I almost forgot, this is the next step. I don't have a clue what step we're on, is it nine? Nine. And that is when I start going through the photos, going through the footage and editing everything. So I usually, because I get excited, I like to look at the photos first. I don't know how other people do it, but I really like to put all the footage onto my laptop, all the photos onto my laptop, onto my hard drive even, sorry. Yeah, put everything on my hard drive and then kind of go through all the pictures, pick up my favorites. And a lot of the time I mock up a thumbnail. Also, I always think just in case one of the photos wasn't good enough, 
I can maybe remake one of the recipes and take another picture tomorrow before the video goes live. Then I go on to Adobe Premiere if you're interested. I use Adobe Premiere to edit my videos and I use typically Photoshop. I'm learning Lightroom at the minute to edit my pictures. I use Epidemic Sound for my songs or SoundCloud. I mostly use Epidemic Sound now just because it's much easier to save on copyright issues. I've had some of those issues recently so if anyone's interested because I realised we hadn't said about our setup, we have recently upgraded and got a new camera. We've got a Canon 80D with a 18 to 135 mil lens and then we've also got a Rode Video Micro microphone which is great and we got all of this stuff secondhand because we wanted to save some money and also I like buying things secondhand because it's just better for the environment so this whole setup was about a thousand quid as opposed to being like what 1500 we saved like 500 quid on this whole setup and also we have a Joby tripod with a Joby little ball mount We'll link everything in the description below if you're interested to see all of our setup and I'm gonna get into editing now Video has exported last step upload so this is the final step. Upload the video. Thankfully we have fast internet, so it'll be done in 10 minutes. And then that is all. I'm gonna add the thumbnail. I've done the thumbnail already. Shall I show you the thumbnail? I'm very proud of it. Here's the thumbnail. All the pictures, looks good. I did it on Photoshop. I'll add it here, tweak the caption, tweak the tags, playlist it, etc. So I'm just about to share it. Really excited about this. On Instagram? Beep, 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 beep. Now. So just put the video live and I always share it on Instagram like I just showed you there. And then I always go, oops, hello. I always go straight to the video and then write a little comment, check the views. And I tend to kind of sit here on my laptop. You think you've uploaded the video, but then you have to share it on Facebook, share it on Instagram and then share it on all of my Facebook groups, share it on Twitter, and then I just sort of check the first few comments, sometimes reply to them, like them, see how it's being received, and just then I had to kind of do all the little things, we add cards and annotations for the end of the video. So I always find when I upload a video, there's like a good half an hour to an hour afterwards, which is spent doing all those things, and they take a lot longer than you expect. I also am gonna share a photo on Instagram, where so I'm gonna have to edit a photo, write a caption, share that, so yes. And also, I had to write out all the recipes in the description, and that takes time doing that, and put all the links, etc. so. Yeah, it's a lot of work goes into this. I'm hoping that this video has shone a light on how much work goes into a video, or how much work goes into a YouTuber's video. Yeah. So, and sometimes, you know, it won't just be one day, it will be, well this, for example, has been multiple days, and a lot of the time we'll be filming the food stuff, filming for multiple days, so. Hmm. Hopefully this has been insightful. Hopefully this can serve as a guide for all YouTubers <laughs> who want to make cooking videos. Uh -huh. Really, it can transcend cooking. <laughs> Shut up! The genre of cooking and, and, and really... We're gonna go now because the video is uploaded. Go check it out so you can see the finished product. And it was a good one. I loved how the camera turned out. Did you? Yeah, it looked great. Oh, good. It wasn't wobbly. No, it looked great. So go watch that. Let us know if you like the style of video. Let us know what other topics you want us to do. We're thinking of doing a cycling one, just like a, just a general like how we went vegan one, like how we go about doing that. Maybe like a shopping food one. Yeah, I have ideas written down. I should probably organise those. Yeah. They're a bit of a mess. Give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.